One minutes from now, it's our freezer pleaser, and as we go into the freezer, we're going to retrieve our ice cubes, mini ice cubes from Sella. Now, this is only one of two trays that you're going to get. You'll also get two containers, two lids, and an ice cube scoop. These are amazing. Let me take you over here. I want to show you exactly what you're going to get. You're going to get two of the mini ice cube trays that have these silicone bottoms to them that are also are coated with antimicrobial. So that's going to kill bacteria that causes odors, right? So this color is called green tea. I have 2,500 left. I also have it for you in the purple, or lavender rather. And we have 2,000. You will get two containers, two trays, two lids, and a scoop. Here's our scoop. And then finally, is this blue sky? We have 1,300 in the blue sky. Now, we had this off the top of the show. We did a little jump start, and 700 were ordered. Now, if you want to make little coffee ice cubes, do you like iced coffee? I do. Sign me up. So take your leftover coffee in the morning if you brew a carafe, and then let it cool, obviously, and then pour it into your ice cube maker. And now you have beautiful little coffee cubes that you can add to your cups. Now, when these thaw, they will thaw into coffee. And what goes into your iced coffee? More coffee. And then you just pour inside some of that leftover coffee. You also add some leftover cream. Not leftover, but out of your fridge. And then give that a little stir. Maybe you take one of our Moravian cookies and give that a little stir. And then a little bite, or just let it float in the coffee, however you want to go. This is very, very popular. We are very busy, and 800 of these are gone. Vina Crownholm is back with us. She is our brand ambassador with Sella. Vina, you have gone out of your way to help us with a specialty item, and we've gone out of our way to make it a really great <laughs> price tonight. This is only $16 and change, an amazing deal. I love it. And I love little tiny ice cubes. I have to tell you, I. Just love it. One thing I love about these is that they have a little bit of silicone on the bottom, so they're really easy to push out, as you can see here. So I can push it out, and I can just knock it right into my smoothie. So I love taking my fruits and vegetables right before they're about to go bad, and I blend them into the ways that I like, and then I add them into my smoothie. Same with my avocado, which is going to make it a little creamier, and this is all going to make your budget go farther. And David, I will be honest, I love iced coffee too, so I do your same trick that you do over here. And then my iced coffee does not get diluted, which I love, especially since it's starting to warm up. Now, let me also show you, this is very clever. Now, a lot of people love dirty martinis. If you're making them at home, it's the Ooh. olive juice that makes it dirty, right? We took chopped olives and olive juice and froze them in the ice cube maker. And then we add to it our martini mixture. Now you've got a perfect dirty. And as Ooh. those little cubes melt, they're melting with more dirty olive juice. I heard someone once order a dirty martini. They said to the bartender, I want you to step in it. Take your shoe off and step in it. <laughs> That's how dirty I want it. Um, this is phenomenal. And if you're doing something like a Cape Cotter, which is vodka and cranberry and fresh lime, make cranberry ice cubes and top it with a, with a mixture of cranberry and vodka. And then you've got a perfect little summer cocktail. Oh, I like that. And wait, we're not done because it's not a true Cape Cotter unless you add some fresh squeezed lime to it. Oh, isn't that lovely? Ooh. Now, that's a little red for my taste. I'd like it a little pinker, you see, because <laughs> I want a little more vodka and a little less cranberry. However, name your poison. This is your uh, what you're getting. You're getting two of these ice cube trays and two containers, two lids, and one ice cream scoop. This color is called green tea. I have 2,300 left here. This is lavender, 1,900 in the lavender, and finally the blue sky, only 1,100. You should also know, Vina, and we should point out to everyone that these little silicone bottoms all push up so the ice cubes come out effortlessly, right? That's right, and this whole tray is antimicrobial. So it's going to help you inhibit the growth of bacteria and mold, depending no matter what you have in it. I was also going to say, David, another thing I love to do is I love to take my lemons. If I get too many or my tree has too many, and I squeeze them and I make them into ice cubes. 
so that I can put them into a drink for the summer for a refreshing drink, or you can do it with your herbs as well. So I did a little bit of oil and a little bit of rosemary because we have a rosemary bush, or you can do pretty edible flowers as well. And it's so easy because that silicone to push out the ice cubes like you can see there. So this is one of your perfect things. It fits in any type of freezer. Whether you have an ice cube maker or not, this is just such a fun way to have ice for the summer. You know, a lot of people are saying, I don't need another ice cube tray, but do you have many ice cube trays? Can you make <laughs> mini cubes? Can you make decorative cubes for cocktails? Because summer is almost here. Well, spring is now here, and summer will be soon. So this is what it's all about. We made a sangria with Ooh. beautiful frozen fruit inside the cubes. Just make sure you put it in a pitcher that won't strain out the ice cubes, and that way you can have them in the glass. Uh, these are fantastic. Being a Crown Home, it is good to have you back, and always a pleasure to have you on our show. Sounds good. Talk to you soon, David. Take care and be well. All right.